Hello and welcome to a very special Blood Angels commentary. Please forgive my voice uh, as I'm still uh, have, struggling with a bit of uh, sickness. So I haven't recovered fully yet, especially with my voice. So let's um, let's talk a little bit about this. I have been covering the Blood Angels releases only because I see them as very low effort garbage now i'm talking in terms that i think that the customer is owed more but some people are happy with it and if you are fantastic for me i don't think they are going far enough <clears throat> so i just wanted to throw that up there first and uh, let's go ahead and talk about the first of this new release i guess we can put it the sanguinar <clears throat> Okay, I do not understand the need to change this character into a Primaris. Upscaling the older model would have been a better idea. And I'm going to start with that because this character's effectively been around since the heresy, as far as I can recall. And he's kind of a mythical being. We don't know exactly or what the Sanguinar is. And it takes away his mystique when he can just be upgraded randomly. If anything, he should have had uh, more brought in line with the Horse Heresy's design philosophy and the basics of his original model maintained as opposed to they kind of kept some of it but I don't know why they bought, brought in uh, Darkstalker's Victor to uh, be the new Primarch of the Blood Angels, but uh, that's not Sanguinius' death mask. That is not the original face. Uh, I do love the fact that they put a bolt straight through uh, his very different uh, cheeks. That's lovely. But I think this is a issue overall, is that I don't like the wings. I don't like the Primaris jump packs. They really lack something in f terms of elegance and design. The Iron Halo looks like somebody ripped the topper off a brick wall that's meant to keep pigeons uh, from sitting up there and pooping everywhere and decided to use that as the Iron Halo. I don't like the flying thing with the... the the scrolling that comes off. I just don't like that in any of the models. I think it looks dumb. And we're not even going to talk about the wingettes on the Primaris backpack being one of the most dipshitted things that they've designed. At least he doesn't have the little jet thrusters on the back of his freaking thighs. So let's give him that. So, what did they do right in my opinion? I like that... They kept the kind of uh, general concepts of it in terms of design. So they kept the kind of weird feet sandaled look, the very uh, wrought design that he has. So that's nice to see they kind of kept that as opposed to just generic Primaris legs. You might see that as an upcoming problem, ladies and gentlemen. But... What did they do to his sword? <laughs> what, what is this pose he's in? It's similar to the original, but it feels unbalanced. And I believe it's this, that the wings should be pointed outwards. So they should be going out. The uh, hands in both cases should be tilted slightly more to the left and the right. And that would have at least balanced him out. Um, but, you know, I don't think uh, the B team knew what they were doing. And this is before we even talk about the Frankenstein face that they gave this, uh, or mask they gave him. The fact that it's flat on the top, from what I can tell. Um, that it's a complete and utter redesign from what we got with the original model. I mean, go ahead and look up the original model. Why wouldn't they just keep that head 
it makes no sense. But again, this is a character that didn't have any reason to be air quote primarified. Um, I'm going to give them the very basic, okay, at least they kept most of what the character is. So I will, at the very least, recognize him as that character. But I'm not particularly pleased with it. So, uh, you know, I'm not even going to waste more time on this character. He gets a passing C rank, on my opinion. So, congratulations. You get a C. The Sanguinary Guard, on the other hand, might be the laziest thing I've seen next to the Def Company release, where they literally just went, hey, it's the exact same Intercessor models, but they have different shoulder pads. Yay! Get excited, kids. This is just... Wow! They <laughs> they didn't even try. So, first off, what the hell is with these Def Mask? First, uh... Like, one, they look like Stormcast Eternals. They don't look like Sanguis, his death mask. Again, they don't resemble the face of the Primarch. Who are these guys? Were these his uh, other brother, his adopted brother, Dale, Yell, and Mel? I, I don't know. I'd love to know who this mask is supposed to be because it's not the Primarch of the Blood Angels. Second... Um, why does it have the stupid little earbuds that you get on the uh, Mark 10? Like, why would that even be worked into these helmets? Uh, it, it takes away from the presence of them and makes them look kind of like, you know, they couldn't go without their iTunes for a couple hours of slaying the enemies of the Imperium, guys. And, you know, I, I've, I, I don't, I'm not going to give them anything. They're just bad designs. They're not even in keeping with the original Sanguinary Guard. So, I'm sure you can find probably 3D printed options that are far, far superior. Again, uh, another problem with uh, the Primaris backpacks not being good. They're awful. Why are they not just upscaled Mark IVs? They work you'd think they'd just be like, why don't you just make bigger ones of those? It'd be fine. So they, these guys don't even have wings like you would have with the Sanguinary Guard. So they're just jump intercessors again with abs, I guess. Quickly, cough abs for me, brother. And uh, you know, we're not even going to talk about the wingettes. Those are not replacements. They're not an iconic thing. I've never seen anyone go, gosh, guys, the reason I like the Primaris jump pack so much is the dumb little flaps on them. Uh, There's just a terrible design. So I'm not going to give them any good marks on that. So negative mark on the backpacks and the design. The negative mark on the elimination of the wings. A negative mark on the fact that you guys don't even know how to make something that isn't probably just a Chad design of Stormcast face that you dragged over and put on Tacticus helmets. Okay, so let's move on down, ladies and gentlemen. Um, they gave them six packs. Yeah, that's very Blood Angels. Finally, we have six pack armor. Because that's the way we feel blood angelly. Now I'll give them a little credit on the arms around the wrist, and it's about the only bit. The uh, they've actually kind of gone with the more armored traditional style that you would have seen, where it's a little bit fluted towards the uh, the wrist. It's a little bit more delicate, delicate. Well, I'd say a little bit more elegant in design, but then it just kind of abandons that after that point so it's a vague eh. and then we get down to the legs okay it's just literally a tactical marine where they carved out plastic now i'm gonna say this i'm glad they at least put that little design there because these guys would be indistinguishable almost from just an upgrade kit for intercessors and 
I bet they did the calculations about how much they could save by doing the little indention in there as opposed to it being a raised bit. And I bet they went, well, we'll save a penny every box. And that'll save us X a million dollars. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. So why didn't we get um, lower legs or legs similar to the Sanguinar? Not as detailed. Of course, these guys wouldn't be on his level in terms of prestige. But you'd think they would have that kind of shaped armor that with the, the kind of like a uh, physical, a knight overdone knight armor almost and these don't look like that at all they just look like tacticus guys with a little bit of six pack action and a dumb storm cast helmet uh, you could do this yourself at home kids but um, this design is just weak it's, it's not much of anything really if anything it's kind of a blatant insult I mean Sure, you could dress these guys up, you could um, get better 3D printed helmets, you could get some of those upscaled Mark IV jump packs with maybe some printed wings, and then you would actually get a f actual banner. And maybe you could also print the other two guys that are missing out of this unit. Wow, wow, they... they they made the design worse. They've probably brought down the number of options this kit has. And, and they've eliminated two whole models. So that's probably about 10 cents of plastic they save per box. And that's multiple millions of dollars per run that they're saving and just charging you even more. So it increases their profit rating even further than it has been. I just these guys are a failing grade. They're not effort. Whoever, whatever junior sculptor or blind madman that they got to do this, and then the blind man madman who said this looked good, should probably be getting some severe, severe retraining. This is just bad. It, it doesn't carry any of the design or look or any of that across from the original models. And I think this is really where I don't care what side of the divide you're on. This is what people complain about when they complain about Primaris. It's that they take something that had a unique feel and look and it dumbs it down and it cast it in such a bland generic manner that the only reason you can tell these guys are different is that they got abs stormcast helmets and they're painted gold well yippee kaye games workshop you're really going out there and just teaching the world about you being the best model company yeah let's just not pay attention to all those people who actually do actually talented work on 3d printed market or the people who actually would care that you could hire well let's just go with cash in the product so overall this is what i'm going to say about the entire line it's been lazy it has not been an actual effort by a company that should be sparing no expense to show people just how damn superior they are to all of their competition this is we don't have to try this is well the old kits had all that detail and well gosh that's really hard and we're not going to have any of that let's just bring it down to the most basic level when your 40k team in terms of freaking design is the b team to age of sigmar maybe maybe just maybe it's time to hang up the freaking spurs and let that design team go because i would rather have the age of sigmar guys doing it because they at least when they update a kit keep it in the spirit and improve on the model these aren't improvements these are regressions this is absolute dross it's laziness and 
it's not like they don't have the resources to do better. But if you're happy with it, hey, let me know. Tell me what you actually like about it and why you like it more than the original kits. And please don't just say it's a scale thing. Please give me actual reasons beyond that. If you hate it, tell me what you dislike or if I've missed anything. So thank you for joining me and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.